Come on down, guys, right here. Great seats are still available. It's good to see all of you here. How many of you have ever received a present? Yeah, nice. Okay, good. We all have. Now, when I was very little, starting at the very first time that I could write my name, do you know what my parents made me do? After I received a gift, and I didn't want to do this because I was kind of a rotten little boy at times, I had to sit down at the table and I had to write on a piece of paper, thank you, and then sign my name. It was very hard for me to do that, and I'm not entirely sure why. I think it was because I had to take time away from playing with my new toy or whatever gift it was that, that was given to me. Do you guys ever have to be reminded to say thank you if somebody gives you something? Sometimes, yeah. It's hard for adults sometimes, too, to remember to say thank you. But that's something that we have to get into the habit of doing. Today we're talking about grace. And grace is a word you hear about church. It kind of gets lost in the meaning. But grace is just a present. That's what the ancient Greek word for, for grace was. It was a present. And the grace of God is a big word. It means forgiveness, love, Jesus. That grace is everything that God gives to you. But I have to ask you, how many of you have ever had a job? Yeah, well, maybe not one that pays you and your employer and your boss and you've got to go to work. But at home, do you ever get to help? Yeah? Yeah, right, you get to help. And sometimes you get to work and maybe you get to help around the house. But do you think if you didn't help around the house, would your parents still feed you? Yeah, it's because they love you and they take care of you. Do you think they would take away your bed if you didn't do your chores? No, that's silly. Because all of those things your parents just give you. And did you know that you don't necessarily have to write out a thank you note to your mom for making supper? But you could say thank you to her by maybe helping clear, the, clear your plate and put it in the sink. By maybe picking up your room. Those are ways that you say thank you, but maybe you didn't think about it. Let's ask for God's help here. Dear Jesus, we need help to say thank you. We are so ready to get things, but we don't always know where they come from. Sometimes we don't even care. Help us to remember that all of our gifts come from you. And help us to see that everything that we do can be a thank you to you. Amen. You're excused to go to your Sunday school class walking slowly.